Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial in the jQuery basic series and we're going to be looking at how to stop animation. jQuery has a great stop method which allows you to stop animation or effects before they have actually finished. This tutorial will be using the source code from part 2 of the series. If you haven't done it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project. The stop method works for all jQuery effect functions including sliding, fading and custom animations. And let's so let's go ahead and open up our project in a text editor. I'm going to drag and drop our JavaScript file. Just go to our HTML. What we're going to do is add two buttons. ID equals start. So this one will just start the animation and we'll have one to stop the animation. Start copy and paste this and just change this to stop change this to stop so we're going to add a div and inside here we're going to put hello well, there's also an optional parameter that you can give for stopping an animation which basically is stop or which specifies whether or the animation queue should be cleared or not by default it is false which means only the active animation will be stopped uh, allowing any queued animations to be performed afterwards and then you can have another optional parameter which is go to end parameter which specifies whether or not to complete the current animation immediately um, to default is false so let's just go ahead to our JavaScript for us to let you know about that. Dollar. Now we select our element. We're going to put hash start dot click. We're going to do function. And in here we're going to put dollar. Open bracket quotation mark. We're going to affect the div element. Dot animate, which is which we looked in the previous tutorial on the animate method. And inside here, we are going to put margin dash left 250 pixels. We're going to put opacity at 0.5. You can actually just specify this other number as it is if you want it. I'm just going to put it in strings. Then we're going to specify the height. The height will be 150 pixels. And we'll put a comma. Specify another property, and this will be the width. Uh, we are missing a quotation mark there. 150 pixels for the width and now we're going to do this over 10,000 milliseconds we're just simply going to copy and paste this change this to stop so when the stop button is clicked we will put div dot stop and in here with the parameter there was saying you can do stop all or go to end you would just put true I mean true for stopping all even the animations that are queued and true for going to the end and but by default it is false save this and if we just run this in a web browser click start okay that didn't run let's have a look okay we have an error and of input. Okay, okay, get yeah, that it's simple right here. Just forgot the brackets. Refresh. Start. Okay, as you can see, it is moving over 10,000 milliseconds. The opacity is changing, plus its size is being affected as well. If I click stop now, nothing's going to happen because they're already finished. But if I refresh, click start. They move and change opacity a little bit, then click stop 
as you can see it has now stopped because I clicked the stop button and if I click start it will restart again click stop start and stop That's it for this tutorial. This tutorial showed you how to use the stop method to stop animations. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at callback functions, which is something that we've been talking about a lot. Uh, technically, we've already done, which are sort of here. You can do inline or you can do callback functions where you just specify the function name and then you call it. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be available in the description via links. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.